Uh, even today, uh, my son and I, we were out at Chick-fil-A, which we don't have in Australia, <laughs> but I'll, I'll use the classic Maccas. Uh, we, were just, we were just out for a, a quick bite to eat, and there's the sheriffs, or in Australia we'd say the police, and um, we walked over and we were able to pray with them and just plant a little seed of the gospel as we shared about God as the perfect father because one of the sheriffs is about to have a baby. He said, pray for that. And then as mm. we're walking from the Chick-fil-A, we walk across two ladies and one's wearing a big cross. So I asked her, do you know Jesus? Do you know the man uh, that that cross is fashioned after? And uh, we now getting her connected to a, a church in Atlanta, which is where she's from. And then from there, we were able to talk to a gentleman who's washing his car. You see, people are everywhere. The question is, will we stop and share the gospel? And so, yeah, there is, there's, you, ne you will never be out of a job as a Christian. You will never be <laughs> out of a job because we, God willing, we'll never run out of people. <laughs> so there's always <laughs> right. people to share the love of Jesus with. And I love, Andrew, how you just made that um, very nice point that you were able to sow some seeds with that gentleman that was going to have a baby. Because I think sometimes, um, I don't know, Andrew, but we can think that we've actually got to reap the harvest every time we talk with someone, whereas really what you're saying is you sow some seeds. It's easy to sow some seeds. Absolutely. Um, one of the uh, things that they have continued to remind us of here at uh, the Evangelism Boot Camp, which is the three-month program that I'm doing, is that we're not soul winners. That's God's job. That's Holy Spirit's job. We're seed sowers and mm. we're harvesters, but we're not soul winners. Um, we, I don't win anyone for God. That's what Jesus did on the cross. You know, Jesus is the one that wins them. But what I do is I uh, sow the seeds, I water the seeds, and I can uh, offer him the harvest, but really it is actually him. Uh, that it's just, Evangelism is supernatural. What happens when someone is saved is a supernatural transaction between earth and heaven, between a person and their creator, and we're just the delivery person, we're just the matchmaker, we're just the one um, introducing a lost person to someone who can uh, save them and who can set them on the right path. And so really, um, I think if we can see ourselves as seed sowers, we don't become uh, so discouraged. You see, if, if a farmer, uh, if we think about the old school, uh, the parable of the of the the sower and the seed um 